Good evening, my Facebook friends, family, followers, and everybody who's going to tune in tonight. Um, this is the ninth episode and installment of Facts Only. You know, it's your girl Chelsea Nicole doing the solo thing tonight. Um, last week we had Wies Man on Wies Oman or Sketal <laughs> um, as the topic for that was the topic for the entire week. So we were just talking about men who waste women's time, women who's wasting men's time, um, just giving you guys tips and ways to just improve yourselves and be better girlfriends, be better mothers, husbands, boyfriends, fiancés, whatever the case may be. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We had a lot of good feedback. A lot of good points about why it is men act certain ways in relationships, why it is that certain women act certain ways in relationships. We talked about what the cutoff point should be as far as age is concerned. So we actually touched base on a lot um, for we a week. <laughs> so thank y'all, everybody who joined in, everybody who had something to say everybody who commented and liked and shared the video, all of that. I appreciate the love and the support. I always tell y'all that y'all gonna get tired of hearing me say that, but I gotta just, you know, if I get love, I gotta send the love right on back. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you for tuning in for tonight's episode. Gotta take off my badge. Um, thank you for tuning in for tonight's episode. We're actually gonna be talking a lot about music. That's my joint right there. That's my stuff right there. I love music. Um, my dad was a DJ, still is a DJ on the low. Like, he still do his thing or whatever. Um, I sing, I guess, you know, a little bit. I don't take it seriously. He wishes I did, but I don't. Um, <laughs> don't tell him that. Um, and I just want to talk about music today versus, you know, music back in the day when things were a lot better. And then, um, like, where we're going as far as this music stuff is concerned, because Unatan <laughs> Bud. If you don't know what that means, y'all music is trash. Y'all music is trash. Like, that, the music that's going on now, like, they even have a whole, like, all right, so now they're calling it mumble rap. It's not even that y'all mumbling. It's just y'all not saying nothing. Like, babble rap. Y'all know how they used to have battle rap? Babble. B-A-B-B-L-E. Babble rap is what y'all doing at this point. Nah, Uzi not the truth. <laughs> he not. He's not. Oh, he's not. He's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A lot of y'all gonna get mad at me this episode a lot of y'all gonna get mad at me this episode because we're talking about music and how trash y'all music is and i we could fight it's like we're not about to fight it's not that deep but i know a lot of y'all are gonna be really upset about what i have to say and i don't mind because I'm upset about all this dumb stuff that y'all be listening to, honestly. The dumb stuff that got 18 jams in a row, the same jams in a row that I'm tired of hearing. I don't even listen to the radio, so I'm going to stop talking about that. But that's why I stopped listening to the radio. There's a lot of nonsense on the radio. So, yeah, I guess it does depend on what you like. That's always facts. But who said what y'all like not trash? <laughs> No, but for real. Just because you like it doesn't make it any less trash. All my friends are dead. All their friends is dead. Like, come on, move. Go on somewhere with that. Like, y'all saying everything. People over here, like, music is supposed to have a message. Messages are usually supposed to be positive. We need to be able to relate. We have to be able to relate to what it is that y'all talking about. So 
forgive me, y'all, when I can't relate to future talking about Percocets and Molly's and Percocets because I I don't pop Molly's, not a crackhead, don't be popping perks, like, ain't no pain in my body, I'm still sort of kind of a young thing, so I don't, I don't need no pain pills, good, like, y'all be out here listening to some foolishness, like, and thinking that's good, and then be Oh, like y'all really sit here and allow your children to listen to this stuff too. And y'all got videos of them. Oh, and they dancing and they and they in it. Just saying the nonsense too. Like what happened to like if I ruled the world? Shout outs to Nas. Like, I know I can be what I wanna be. If I work hard at it, I'll be where I wanna be. Like What's wrong with that? Like, what's wrong? What's wrong with that type of message? Like, why all your friends got to be dead? Why? What happened to them? Like, was that a homicide? Was it natural causes? Like, <laughs> why your friends dead? I want to know. <laughs> like, I really want to know what's wrong with y'all and y'all friends and why you would ever make a song about the fact that your friends is dead. Talking about push you to the edge. I want to push you right off the edge. Just clean off that edge. Like, don't want to hear it. Don't. Don't. And a lot of y'all know me for my deep love for Kanye West. Yeah, he's not making great music anymore. And I can admit to that. That's, it is what it is. Like. Facts are facts, and this is facts only, so I'm going to keep it a buck. He's stressing me out, man. He's stressing me out. I don't I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I don't know what he's going to do. Like, this day and age, y'all really want to listen to some whole hype stuff. And a lot of y'all will be like, oh, well, that beat hard. I'm going to give y'all that. Because when the production is right sometimes you just turn the deaf ear to the nonsense that they're babble rapping over the beat and you're just rocking to the beat but the thing about it is after a while you know the song word for word because you done heard it a gajillion times but seriously what is like what is music right now what do y'all consider to be R&B? Seriously. <laughs> I don't know if y'all think Rihanna is R&B, but she's classified as pop. Short for popular. And that was usually for like the Britney Spears and the Christina Aguilera's and the NSYNC and stuff like that. So Rihanna is pop music now. Like. I'm, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Y'all tell me because maybe I'm just an old head and I don't know nothing. I'm an OG ting or whatever, but it's not a good look. <laughs> but Paris, just because you like it don't mean it's not trash. Just so y'all are aware, just because you like it does not mean it's not trash. And I know that's going to hurt some feelings. Don't mind me. I really don't care about my hair right now. I'm like this close, maybe even closer, to just drenching it in some water. Like, need the fro back. I know y'all miss her. She coming back soon or whatever. But no, seriously. Um, this music sucks. <laughs> like, it really does. Like, it really does. Y'all are not saying anything that we need to hear at all it's it's not good and it is a lot of it is subliminal messaging like a lot of it and people are so i don't want to say slow but like they're so not in tune with like thinking that way that they don't realize it and they kind of just go along with it like oh but that's hard oh that's tough oh you heard what he said oh that's tough and he got money so he can say whatever he want no tired of that 
<laughs> the fact that y'all have money, all that money that these people are supposedly paying you, like you have such a great platform to actually get up there and say things that make sense. But technically, I, and this is going to hurt feelings too. Y'all really literally selling out, like literally selling out because they're giving you all this money. You think it's okay to get up there and sing all this foolishness. I spy with my little eyes. Like, is he serious? Is he dead serious? Like, <laughs> is he for real? Like, are, but because they gave them all that money to do that, that's okay. Like, that's acceptable. Music to me is something that I can vibe to. When I'm sad, I can listen to this music and I can tell that the artist was sad too. If I'm happy, I can listen to this music and tell that that artist was happy too. If I'm angry, I can listen to that song and be like, yo, he was angry too. Like emotions that I can relate to, things that I can relate to. Tupac, we have the same birthday, so you you brought up the right person, Jordy. You brought up the right person, Tupac. Tupac forever, 616 out here. Like, Tupac's music, I can rock with. Boys to Men, I can rock with. I'm not saying all music from the 90s was great and that all of them had the best messages because somebody rocking, knocking the boots is just like, oh, okay. Because a lot of them say, you know, there's so much sex in the music these days. Sex been in music since when time? Like, (laughs) under the boardwalk? We'll be making love. We'll be having some fun. Like, y'all been singing about sex from way back when. So it's not even about the sex. It's about how how you rocking it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So um, as far as, like, there's music that you listen to to kind of get you in a better mood. So if you're sad and you don't want to be sad, you don't listen to sad music type stuff, like, things like that. So music is something that alters your mood and that's facts like music is something that does when eminem did stan like <laughs> i rock with him for that like when he did stan like he told a story like something that you could actually picture happening to somebody like somebody actually thinking that Eminem goes through the same things I do and the things that he said in his song, like that, like that's how controlling music is for some people over their minds. So can you imagine like somebody who is that controlled by these fool, fool artists who really just be out here doing mollies and Percocet and drinking lean and whatever because they heard it in a song because they see their favorite rapper doing it because they see their favorite like through the wire was dope kanye don't make music like that no more though that's the problem like he doesn't make music like that anymore and it's sad but you know you gotta find your way artists grow and develop and change just like regular regular people like these are these are facts facts only it's just it's a bunch of trash it's a bunch of bs that's going on in the music these days and that's absolute facts I really do find myself listening to like 90s R&B, like 90s gospel even. Like, I mean, gospel's pretty much, you know, mellow, which brings me to a point where, did y'all hear about this? Did, did, Did y'all hear about this? All right, so Nicki Minaj takes on gospel track. The girl has menage, as in menage et toi, as in, I believe it means threesome. The girl has menage in her name, and y'all gonna put her on a gospel track? Like, I feel like I'm losing my mind. (laughs) Don't I look like I'm losing my mind? Like, what? How? how music is transforming that's absolutely facts like it, it and it's been that way like as errors change errors eras 
change and technology changes and this is different and this is how we're acting now and culture shocks and changes like things change like things are supposed to change but Nicki Minaj on a gospel track what y'all think what y'all think about that what 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 give me some give, give me some give me some thoughts on that because what Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I listen to you call trash. It's actually harder than you think. Mm, not sure exactly what you're talking about. If there's a specific that you're saying, I'm saying is trash. All these mumble but battle rappers, all of them, I I don't respect none of them. From Young Thug up. I, I'm, I'm old fashioned. I've always been an old soul in a young body, and that's fact. So, Jordan, you're absolutely right. I am old fashioned and that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with the good old days. Like <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with the old way to do things. All right. There's no real life story in their rap, Walter. You that's facts. Facts only. Like they're not even they're babbling, like legit babbling, saying anything. They go from one thing to another thing. Like there's nothing like we're not following nothing. You're not saying anything. Like I can't relate to you. You saying anything, sir. Like, what are you talking about? Like, that's what I want to know. What are you even talking about? Why are you worth listening to? Why? Because you got a catchy beat. You got a, a catchy hook. And, oh, I can, I can rock with that. Oh, I, can, I can, you know, wall out in the club. I don't go to the club. So how do you appeal to me? You, you're whack. You're trash. Like, go sit down somewhere. Like, killing off my brain cells just for what? Mm. It's not real lyricism. It's not. You got no lyrics. They're literally going up there and just rhyming because that's what they think rap is. Like, can I? It, it's really not. No one needs real life stories of your life, just stories of life. And that's facts, too. It doesn't have to, not all music. And a lot of artists say this too, like not every song that they've ever done was about them in particular, but as people, human beings living in humanity with feelings and emotions and trials and tribulations and things like that, you should be able to relate to a person with and sympathize, empathize, whatever the case may be, with a person without having to walk in that person's shoes. So when people be like, you don't know what I'm talking about because you ain't you ain't never walked in my shoes and you ain't never been through this and you ain't so you would never know. That's not that's not facts. Think about it. Use your imagination. Barney ain't telling y'all to use y'all imaginations. Never y'all never watch Barney. Y'all never watch nothing to to practice using your brain and use your imagination to just imagine just imagine how you would feel and react to this scenario this situation 2000 babies making them famous seriously what's this topic about we're talking about music today's music before his music where music is going to go what music is supposed to be for like we talking about music because when it hits you, it feel, you feel no pain. Shout outs to Bob. Shout out, sh shout outs to Bob. Bob Marley, real music, y'all. Like, come on. Like, say something with some sort of meaning. That's all. Niggas on a turn up level now. Bruh. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. And it's okay to turn, turn, turn down. You saying turn down for what? Because cause, cause you're getting too noisy. And, and you're not saying anything. Just, mm, just, just, just simmer a little bit. Just a little bit. Not a lot, because I feel like some of them could really have talent. They could. It's possible, maybe under all that bull crap they talking about. Like I'm pretty sure there's talent somewhere in there. Maybe. A lot of them are weird and awkward too. Like, do y'all notice how weird and awkward these people are? Don't even have personalities. Think about who you listen to for your different or for the different emotions. My about, the thing about me, I'm all right. So the reason why I'm talking about this partic in particular is because I listen to so much different music. 
so much different music. Like, I can't. I can't get with the new music. Like, nay, nay, thank you, like, dab. That that was kind of like Soldier Boy's doing, though. He, with the crank that, when everybody was dancing, crank that, yeah. So, I mean, but again, they were doing that from before, too, with the Cupid Shuffle and, you know, the electric slide, like, things like that. Like, oh, it's fun family dances, but now... Y'all whipping and nay nay and I don't, I don't, can't relate, man. Just can't. <laughs> I just can't. But I mean, music is supposed to bring us together. Like body, soul, minds, things like that. Like, that's what I'm thinking music is supposed to be. Like, music is supposed to hit you in the heart where it matters. I mean, not and that's the thing like we're so used to songs not first of all leave me alone because i'm recording my show and you're interrupting <laughs> you're annoying as fuck <laughs> you're annoying as hell we lie how do you watch it Oh, okay. Got some viewers. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. Up, man? How y'all doing, man? Just got this is my brother, me. Malik. He's an Aussie, as you can clearly see. And that's fine. I'll see. Yo. Hold on. We're talking about that. music. I'm going to sit Are here you? and listen. Because I wonder, want to see what y'all have to... I'm, I'm, what do y'all, y'all see what she got Brooke said, right? shut up. Brooke said, it be trash, but the beats go hard. Shout out to all the producers. And that's fast. Like, the producers need to get more money. The, pro the producers do need to get more money. Like, y'all making need, money every time they play the song. Yeah. The producers need to cut that producer to check because the only a lot of people say that, too. Like, oh, no, I only listen see. to it because cause the beat hard, the beat hard, the beat hard, the beat hard. We already talked about them. They <laughs> suck. Young, young, they're trash. Don't, don't the they're trash. Don't listen to her, yo. She don't know nothing. Yo, she don't that's know nothing that 1996, that. but I grew up in the 2000s. That's that right there. Like, no. That's that over no. here. She's a hater. No, they're Young trash. Young Thug is the greatest. No, he's it's not. It's that Jeffrey album. I know no. he's wearing a dress, but no. come on. He's wearing a dress. It doesn't like, matter. Yes, it does. The dress don't matter. Yes, it it's does. All about the music. Nah. No. No. And his music is trash. It is. But it don't <laughs> <matter>. <laughs> All right. Like, what do you mean? Come on. Um, Jordan says people trying to get rich because they see people getting money talking about nothing. Facts. Like you're you're they they started this trend and it won't stop. No. It won't stop. Like I just don't get it. I don't get it. Y'all just trying to get money. And I understand that. What do you mean uh, hoes? I don't talk to hoes. Ain't no hoes on here. Why would you even say that on live? Now no female is ever gonna watch huh? this. It's the beats the only thing that's got it going. Hold on. I'm I'm trying to scroll through y'all comments because these are facts. Like seriously, did facts only. Painted pictures too? <laughs> he did. He did. What were we gonna talk about before that? We're talking about like we're talking about music supposed to paint a picture and tell like a story and stuff like that. Like you could follow stuff. I respect Meek for doing that. Mm -hmm. Meek does that. Shout outs to Meek Mill. Y'all be trying to give him all the L's in the world, but y'all gotta let that young yeah, man rock. Y'all right. yeah, yeah. gotta let that. Y'all gotta let that man rock. When leave me bro. alone. I'm gonna be on the show talking my black how I do. It's the beats only that gets the people going, and that's Playboy Cardi. Ask somebody how they feel about Playboy. Um, Playboy Cardi. No, the one song Playboy Cardi, and it's catchy. Right, it's catchy. It's catchy. Don't like it because it's so annoying that it's so catchy that I just be like, oh. yeah, you love, you hate that you love it. I hate that I love it. Like <laughs> dead serious. Like I hate that I actually like the song because it's. I know it's absolute foolishness, but because the beat go hard, I'm like, ah, I can rock with it. It just happens. That's how our. That's what music does like it just gets you going and that's facts but the things that the people are saying over this music oh. what what which brings me again back to Nicki Minaj being on the gospel track what what is she gonna say 
what's she gonna say? Not for real, for real, y'all. Like, and and anybody, and anybody know what Nicki Minaj is going to say on a gospel track? What is she gonna say? And then the thing about it is, why would you feature somebody with the name Minaj on the gospel track? And then after you do said gospel track, you going to go back to talking about what you was talking about? What are you talking about, Chess? Nicki Minaj. She about to be on a gospel track. She about to be on a gospel track. That is you ain't, Bro, I'm not lying. Let me see that. Nicki Minaj is taking her talents to gospel music. This is um she, BT I, music I article. Like, I feel like Chance the Rapper winning that award just got to her head, so she feels like she needs to switch it up. That's what I mean. <laughs> but, Chance, like. but the thing about Chance the Rapper is he's always incorporated God in his rap anyway. She been talking about her pussy, her ass, and this, that, and the third yeah, from way time. Go, yeah, you, can't, you, can't, you can't. You cannot. You can't do that. You just can't. Nicki Minaj like, could nice. rap, and she could sing, and all that other stuff, but it's like, and the singing is a, is a barely. Just going like but that's slide out here. Like, that's a barely. And it's just like, so do you go to doing that gospel track and then come back again with the, um, they want Monster Nikki from Sri Lanka. Like, you going, what, what you going to do? You got to pick a lane and stick with it. You can't be, you can't play with God like that. I feel like that's a little disrespectful. Like, Lady Saw. One of the hottest dance hall artists from the 90s. Changed her life around. Got baptized. She don't go by Lady Saw. I don't think so anymore. I don't think she goes by Lady Saw anymore. Like, she wants people to call her by her real name and stuff like that. But it's like, do you go back to what you were talking about before? Hell no. You can't. You cannot. And nobody could take you seriously if you did. Yeah, this could this could make or break her career. This can make or break it. Because if you and, if you decide not to go back, I mean, we're not gonna want to hear gospel Nikki all the time. Like, nobody's gonna want to hear yeah. gospel Nikki. Like, I don't think anybody's gonna be. I mean, you can't be taken serious after. after you that. can't. I mean, sinners no, are homeless. supposed to turn. What, that's what, that's fact. What did I say? What did I go say? Your wholeness can get deleted. <laughs> your wholeness can get no, deleted. No. <laughs> By the blood of Jesus Christ, yes, it can. What you mean? Honus get deleted all the time, okay? All right, she better. Some of y'all mamas, let me stop. That's not nice. Some of the people in the church, which, I mean, could be some of y'all mamas. <laughs> what you mean? Like, Honus get deleted all the time by the blood of Jesus. By his stripes, we are healed and whatever. But it's not like. in my book. <laughs> that's why your book don't count. <laughs> get out of here. What's your book? What's your book? No, I'm, that. That's facts if you're going to stay a hoe, but uh, if uh, you want to change your life. We're not talking about hoes. We're right, talking right, about right, music. Right, my bad, my bad. I'm done. I'm done. Anyways, so Nicki Minaj is taking her talents to gospel music while the head barb has had a slew of features this past year. Her newest collaboration finds her worshiping the man above along Tasha Cobb. Like, how? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for real though. No. How? How? Like, how do you pull that off? Did I turn this up? No, <laughs> don't turn your speaker up at all. They gonna shut down the live because we ain't got rights to the copyright or whatever. It's all talent. Yeah, I understand talent. Great, understandable, but it gets a little disrespectful at some point. Like, it gets just a little disrespectful. Just a little, just a little, in the set, in the fact that, okay, all right, crazily saying too cool, because you coming with it right now, and I know you would. So, when Satan was in heaven, Lucifer was in charge of music. Oh, okay, and, and Lucifer got kicked out. Okay, so he still uses what he knows best to draw souls away from God. If the sing doesn't give praise to God, it should be left alone. This is why Christ said, give no place to the devil, not even in your music. Singers today have to sell records by doing sexual devilish things. Beyonce and many others had to reveal themselves to be popular. And that's facts. Like, y'all here half naked when y'all performing. Half naked. I personally think that 
Beyonce had to be on drugs to take a second look at Jay-Z. Come on, Mike. That's not nice. <laughs> she thinks he's cute. They're in love. Whatever. But um, no, seriously. Um, Lucifer was in charge of music. He got that. Like, he understands what it takes to get you to move the way he wants you to move. So if he talking about Molly's and Percocets or whatever the case is, or sipping that lean or whatever, that <laughs> move, yo, then that's what he's going to do because he can. He knows how to do that. Don't let the devil use your talent to take people away from God. Brooke, yes, Malik is annoying. He's very, very, very annoying. And we already knew that. We already knew. Like, <laughs> that was not going to stop or change. But, no, seriously. Y'all got to do Y'all got to do better. I say that every episode. Y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better. <laughs> that's, that's facts. That is facts only, y'all. Like, we have to be mindful. <laughs> universal facts <laughs> like dead serious like and i really appreciate you have heard off me forever that's northern slang definitely is northern slang i've been saying off me since i want to say maybe sixth grade and i won't stop saying it <laughs> you're all off me but um no seriously about this music situation like what are we gonna do like jaja soon come like what are we gonna do what are we going to do? What are we going to say? Listen to Safe by Young Sung. I no. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like He said listen to Safe by Young Thug. Yo. Nah. I salute you, yo. Nah. Nah. nah don't don't you. even no. Do not do not hype Malik. Do not. Do not hype my brother. Yo, they know about the thug. He's man. trash. Don't and he wears dresses. Hey, hey, women's yeah. clothes are more comfortable than men's clothes. That's a lie. Girls don't even like wearing girls' clothes. Girls like wearing their boyfriend's clothes. Boy shorts. He's Boyfriend different. jeans. Like, what's wrong with y'all? He's Talk different. He's different. He gay. All right, see, so you, you can't say gay on live. Why I can't say gay on live? All right, homosexual. But homosexual not, and gay. My man the same got a wife. Thing. He got a couple kids. That don't mean nothing. People they be don't. on a down low. Like, you know, we talking about music, though. No, they don't because they do it for trash people. Trash people. What did she say? No, for real. Like, that? trash people, these trash artists making these music for trash people. That's facts, Douglas. That's facts. Because. Hey, Jordan McCarter. I mess with home, man. Oh, my gosh. No. I mess with home, bro. Jeff, no. Meek a battle you, rapper. And that's that's true. Meek, Meek is. He's a battle rapper. He's a battle rapper. He could do both. He could do both. I, do what I see what he's saying. I feel he could do both. He has been doing both, and it's not too shabby. I ain't mad at it. Um, Wins and Losses was a very nice album. If y'all didn't mess with it because he was in the in Lou, I mean not Lou. Sorry, that's the wrong word to use. But he was in that whirlwind when he was just taking all those L's, and you know y'all was serving him up. Wins and Losses. People take losses sometimes. You gotta learn. What you know about that? You gotta learn. You just gotta learn. I would say the beats and the auto tune make the general sound, but it complements their lyrics. No. Like the lyrics are still bad. And that's the thing. Like the beats and the auto tune try to distract. It's a distraction. There it is. That's the word. It's a distraction. Like you're distracting me from realizing that you're actually trash. So you have these beats and you have the auto tune. You have all this good sounding stuff around your trash. Trying to shine up garbage. No, it's just not cool. Out of all trash rappers, oh Lil Yachty is the most trash by far. Out of all trash rappers, Little Yachty is probably Little Boat. Like, why would be you? Worse. Be worse. T Pain can do it all, though. T Pain can do it all. He can actually uh, sing. This is 08 or something? What? It's 08. It's 2008. Why are we talking about T Pain? T Pain could do it all. He's does he produce? I think he produces too. He sings very, very well. He did not even need the auto tune, but because auto tune was so popular, he used it. But his talent, T Pain can blow. He can blow. Like he's a singer. Like seriously, but nah, seriously. 
Chris Brown can sing but can't rap. <laughs> And Chris Brown is kind of lacking in the singing department too. A lot. I do. I was just talking to a young thing. He's not that young, but he's young enough. And he was saying that Chris Brown's voice is annoying. And if you listen to it, it is kind of annoying. It's a little annoying. Uh, like he just sounds so. Uh, like all right, all right, sir. Mm, chill. <laughs> all right. All right, I was vibing with you, and now you're doing all that extra stuff, mm, sir. But yeah, man, I don't know what we're going to do. Like, <laughs> what are we going to do? Where are the real artists at? Shout out to Rozzy, Carlo Rozzy. I'm going to tag you in this video, too. King Pen is on um, Apple Music, iTunes, whatever y'all got. Check him out. CT Artist, 860 in the building or whatever. I listened to that album all day at work. It really got me through my entire day at work. So shout outs to him for that. Like, that was well done. Like, well put together. Under no order. Shout outs to y'all. Because <laughs> give it up. Y'all never want to support talent. Just who's popular. I saw that meme the other day. And that's absolute facts. Like. People are actually out here putting their hearts and souls into their music, not getting up there and doing a ditty bop and making up a new dance or just saying ridiculously ridiculous things just for ratings and just for like, I don't even, just for the money. Just for the money. You have people who follow you and you have, again, this large platform where you can give a better message to the people out here because these people are listening. They're, 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 they'd listen more <laughs> or things would change more if the people who had all this power in the palms of their hands would use it for the greater good. No? Am I crazy for thinking that? I don't think so. So, I mean, y'all could think I'm crazy, but um... no. All right. So, Chris, what we were talking about is Nikki is supposed to be featured on a gospel track with um, a gospel artist by the name of Tasha Cobbs. So I don't get it. <laughs> like, like, what do you what do you where do you go from there is basically what the ongoing question is that we keep trying to we don't really answer it at all because. It's just crazy. We're going to see how it plays out, I guess. But, like, y'all know who Nicki Minaj is. Y'all know what type of music she's known for. So it's like, even though, you know, we're all sinners and we all fall short of the glory of God and this, that, and the third, yeah, that's fact. But once you make, like, God don't want that wishy-washy. He don't want that, yeah, I'm going I'm to sing about God real quick. I'm going to drop this quick you know verse on this gospel track and then i'm gonna get right back to talking about the sex the drugs the money the this to that like is that is that what you're gonna do or are you taking this first step to getting out of that type of music are you going into gospel for sure will you change your name You gonna go back to o o Onika? Or, you know what I mean? Like, I just wanna understand. I just wanna understand, that's all. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to understand what that is for because as somebody who's on a Christ walk myself, I just think it's a little bit much. Like, I feel like it's a little, yeah. All right, Jordan, you feel me? Like, you can't just convert back. Like, you can't do that. Pick a lane because God is watching you. Like, every move that you make, he's watching. He's going to see what your true intentions are. He's going to see, like, are you? And then for these gospel artists to invite her, knowing what, to, like, secular artists is what they're called. Knowing that you're a secular artist. Like, you invite her, knowing her type of music, knowing what she's on, you know what I'm saying, what she's known for. You gonna bring her on a gospel track? 
Nicki Minaj, like her name is Minaj. Like first and foremost, all hail the king featuring Nicki Minaj. Like how? Uh, like mind blown. Like y'all really letting the devil come and do whatever he want with y'all. And it's sad. Brooke says, Nikki fans will rock with whatever she do. They that serious about her. And that's fact, and that's how sad it is. <laughs> that's sad. I mean, if that means Nikki's going to be bringing people to God, amen, and all praises go to Nikki for that. But, or not all praises go to Nikki, but all praises to God because he lined it up that way. But I doubt that that's going to be the situ situation. They'll rock with that one gospel song if they know any others. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll rock with her because she's on it. So you're not even rocking with the true message of the song. You're rocking with it because Nikki's on the song. And God knows that, too. I like that song with Nicki Minaj on it, that gospel song with Nicki Minaj. You sound crazy. You sound crazy. You sound crazy. <laughs> like, And I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, the way the industry just be getting y'all to do some foolishness is bad for sales people still are out here illegally downloading music in case y'all ain't know like i ain't mean to snitch on y'all or nothing but it's like y'all doing the most for nothing y'all out here saying absolutely nothing absolutely nothing y'all not saying anything with any substance y'all not saying anything with any message like Seriously, once you're really committed, you never know. I like, I want, I don't know. I don't know what, what's going on in her life. I don't know if after the whole meat breakup and all that stuff, she's ready to turn her life over to Jesus because she surely do need him. But again, we'll see how it plays out because Nikki could love Jesus too. I'm not saying she can't. I'm saying she can't. I am not saying she can't love Jesus. We, we all need to love Jesus, okay? Because he first loved us, okay? I'm just saying, if you're going to love Jesus, you got to love Jesus hard. And again, with that big platform, like that big, you have such a responsibility. The people out here are listening to you. They're watching you. Oh, you're on a gospel track. What are you saying on this gospel track? Are you going to do more gospel tracks? Are you going to go back to your old music? Are we going to follow you back over there? Or are we going to stay on the gospel road and leave you behind? You know what I'm saying? Like, people really don't realize what effect they have or what effect they play on another person's life. And it's really irresponsible. It's very irresponsible of these artists with all this money and all these mediums to you know say something and they're not saying anything good i i really commend Chance the rapper he does a lot within his community he says a lot in his music there's a lot of messages i mean we all they all of these rappers have their ignorant moments of course but it's just like you can tell who's about it and who's in it for the fame the money the ignorant stuff buying stuff that they don't need in a club when they don't need to be Lucy <laughs> Vert equals Lucifer. <laughs> That's shady. But I mean, hey, don't believe in devils and demons. If I did, they all humans. The devil know how to take on a body. Like he definitely does. He knows how to use us to get people away from God. He knows how to use our bodies and what we say as tools and weapons to get people away from God, point blank period. So I don't understand again why they're so, like they're just not mindful. Like they're not, they're so irresponsible with it. Like. And we're irresponsible, too, in that regard. Like, because we can't just blame the artist. That's not fair. Can't just blame the artist. But that's why I'm on here telling y'all that a lot of the stuff that y'all listen to is trash. And y'all need to cut it out because Jaja soon come. <laughs> like, no, but for real. Seriously. Um, no glasses tonight only because when I put them on, there's, like, a glare with, like, the computer screen. And I would have to, like, talk like this the whole time. And it's just kind of weird. So I took my glasses off. But thanks, Mike. Um, music, man. It's supposed to set us free. 
but music is life <laughs> and music is death too <laughs> death to these trash rappers babble rap mumble rap whatever y'all want to call it it's uh i don't know that just give me a headache <laughs> and i do have verses for this i definitely do y'all know i do i heard about lecrae douglas i have heard about lecrae um i haven't i don't think i've listened to any of his music i think i've made might have heard one song my sister was telling me about him um but that's the thing i heard like he was doing regular <laughs> messed up to say regular but like regular secular rap at first and then he kind of like converted over and he's been doing that ever since if that's the case cool if that's what nikki decides to do cool praise god he won another soul or whatever but what are you gonna do you know what i'm saying like what are you gonna do what do you plan on doing with god's people because don't mess with them like don't play with our emotions <laughs> just don't it's good with you but I have these verses for y'all. And yes, I do have them pulled up. So um whatever y'all think about what where where are music right now. Think about what our children will be listening to or what they do listen to now. You know what I'm saying? Like all this stuff is crazy. All this stuff is crazy all right so i have ephesians 5 verse 19 first and it says speaking to one another with psalms hymns and songs from the spirit sing and make music from your heart to the lord psalm 71 verse 23 my lips will shout for joy when i sing praise to you i whom you have delivered like I just, it's tough to, for people to connect in that type of way. Like everything that you do is supposed to be in the glory, for the glory of, uh, for the glory of God. Sorry, I got tongue tied because so excited about this message. It's just like all of y'all out there who have those types of platforms, who have that voice, who are standing in front of other people and you want to say something to these people, these kids, these young adults, these old adults, like all of us, the people in general, we need a message. We need a message and we need more, we need more storytelling in our music. We need more, I don't know. We, we need a blessing first and foremost, that's for sure. Like, and it's gonna take time. I, I'm not saying everybody's gonna do that. I'm not saying everybody needs to be a gospel artist when they decide to do music. I'm not saying any of that. What I am saying is these artists need to be mindful because y'all are falling for the bait. This music that's going on right now is trash. It's trash. I don't know who a 21 Savage is. I don't know who a little Uzi Vert is. I don't know who a little Yachty is. I don't know who... Like, I know their names because I've heard their names, but to say that I've seen them, like I've seen maybe three people I just listed. I'm not a listener. I don't know. But I couldn't tell you the name of their song or how it goes because, like, my ears are just turned off to stuff like that. And that's just me. Like, so I don't want anybody to take it personal, but. When are you going to realize and accept the fact that the music that you're listening to is trash? Like, change your life around <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. It starts with little things to get your life on a better track, first and foremost. So the people that you surround yourself with, the food that you eat, um, the type of activities that you partake in, so whether you're exercising versus not, whether you're drinking, um smoking cigarettes um i'm not going to shame any of my weed marijuana mary jane smokers shout outs to y'all herb from the earth and whatever there's a verse on that too in genesis um <laughs> but nonetheless like if you're out here it whatever you take in that's what you're 
body's gonna feed out basically so take in positivity take in good music take in something with a positive message take in something that gets your mind to a better state motivates you to do something better with yourself and with your life um i'm praying for these rappers out here because they have the voice they have the resources to say something to all of us all of these people they reach millions at this point not even thousands of people there's so many people on this earth right now and there's so like these artists have a responsibility to lead and guide and it's like where are you leading and guiding us like just be mindful that's all i'm asking just be mindful that's facts that's facts like the things that you listen to shape your day like people who listen to jazz you know classical music versus people who listen to rap or reggae or whatever like there's always going to be you you can tell a difference in the mood and the temperament stuff like that so i'm not saying nothing just to rag on you know these artists that are out here it's not my style at all I just want to come and bring out effects. And a lot of these rappers, not even rappers, I'm sorry. This was about music. It wasn't even about just rappers. It was about all artists. Like I said, when have you when was the last time you heard a really, 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 really good, soulful R and B song? What happened to the music soul childs? What happened to the Lauren and Hills? Y'all like this SZA girl, S Z A, whatever her name is, S Z as in zebra, A as in Apple, S as in Sam, sorry, whatever. S Z A. She talking about your man and my man and her man too, and uh, oh, I'm Thursday, I got him for the weekend or nonsense nonsense and they and they love it like you people love it not all of you people but the people who do love it y'all be loving it now and it's just like she's not setting a good example either she's not saying anything good she's not saying anything worth hearing like i don't understand this music out here is crazy it's crazy it's bad a way to keep it on it Hey man, facts. <laughs> like, gotta hit y'all with the facts. Like, it's facts. Hold on. So Douglas says, what she wants, she can only do us. We don't need to think of somebody else. In short, we should not judge the world works in many ways. One path is not always the path to take for everyone. Humans are fragile creatures, and that's okay. God definitely heard my thoughts today, Jordan. God always hear your thoughts. He always hears your thoughts. So Keep that in mind. People actually scored higher on tests listening to classical music. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Today with that earth, wind, and fire. Say what I don't got some earth, wind, and fire on my phone. Like, music. Like, real music. Like, music. Something that's worth listening to. Something that makes you feel good. Something that has a message. Something that tells a story. Something that you can relate to. Something that makes you want to fall in love. All this music that y'all hear now is about how much they hate people. All my friends are dead. I don't care if you lie. I don't want to miss. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to fuck with these hoes. I don't want All of it is just so hateful. Like, there's nothing loving about any of this music. And that's why a lot of y'all not getting married, don't got no girlfriend, never been in love, don't know what this is, don't know what that is, nah, 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 because your music is poisoning your brain, along with the things that you're going, like you're going through in your life. So again, it's about what you surround yourself with, what you take in as far as food, content, what you watching on TV, that's what I mean by content, uh, <laughs> music. Everything, like how you live your life is how, you know what I mean? Like the things that you have going on in your life, the things that you bring in into your life is why it is you're going through whatever it is that you're going through. There's always going to be times when God is going to test you and put you in situations that you're not sure if you can handle, but just know he never puts more on you than you can bear. So whether you think that he's testing you through whatever music you're listening to or not, you know, again, be mindful. 
That's all I'm asking. Just be mindful. Stay woke. I wasn't going to say that on the show, but no, for real. Stay woke. Stay woke. Not even just about, you know, Black Lives Matter situations, but just like your spirituality as well. God don't want you sleeping on him either. He really doesn't. And don't sleep on how powerful the devil is. He's not dumb. And his time is running out. So he's trying to gather as much as y'all as he can so that he don't got to go down by himself. So if you trying to go down, I'm saying like, yay. Your, our body is a temple, Jordan. That's facts. Whatever you taking in, again, that includes your music too. Facts. Straight facts. Just, just know. Love yourself enough to know that. That beat is hard, but there's some foolishness, and I'ma just I'ma just click right on out of that one. Like, <laughs> I'ma just scroll on past that song right here, cause I've even noticed myself like I'll have my music on shuffle. Mm. Like messing with my spirituality, messing with my vibe, and you know I I had to change it. First step is admitting that you need to make a change. You know what I'm saying? So it's not easy. It's not going to be easy. Um, but God knows. And if you're serious about, you know, being saved and, you know, going with the new heaven and the new earth and all this stuff being passed away and whatnot. Good things come to those who wait and also to those who work. So work at it. That's all you got to do. But we get into the hour mark, and I knew we would. Because when you start talking about music, people come out of the woodworks. They got everything to say about music because it's something that is universal. Like, music is all over. All over. Maybe y'all should just stop making music with words. Because <laughs> y'all not saying nothing good. Just, just throw the beat on the radio real quick. Throw a quick instrumental up there, whatever, because. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm going to need y'all to cut that out. Um, but thank y'all so much <laughs> for coming in. Thanks, Jordan. You were here for most of the video. So I appreciate you. Um, everybody who chimed in, everybody, Douglas too, everybody who chimed in, Paris, um, everybody who joined me tonight talking about music. Um, you can sh keep sharing the videos, keep commenting. Tell me what you're thinking about the music. Tell me what you think about Nicki Minaj being on a gospel song. Tell me what you think. Let me know. That's all. We could talk about this. This is what I'm here to do, you know. I'm just trying to, trying to talk it out with y'all. Come let us reason together. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's do this. That's a Bible verse, too. I'm going to get y'all the exacts and everything later on. But um, I appreciate y'all again. Thank you so much for tuning in to Facts Only every Monday and Friday around 7 30. <laughs> i'm gonna get better with that too so i apologize and all y'all who are punctual and prompt i appreciate y'all um, i'm gonna get better i'm gonna i'm gonna get better i promise bible study ran a little bit longer than i expected tonight and that's okay because i got the word and i was able to be rejuvenated to come and talk to y'all about what god is saying about the trash music that y'all out here listening to like get do better listen to better these artists out here, y'all have a huge responsibility. People are listening and they're watching. We, What you got to say next? We want to know. So, again, thank you for joining me, y'all. I didn't have no swag on. This is a really good broadcast. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> I did good. If you said it, I know it's facts, okay? <laughs> but, again, I appreciate all of y'all, all the comments, all the shares, all the reactions. I see a lot of y'all laughing. Thank you for laughing it out with me. Um, shout out to my brother Malik for being his annoying self. And he was actually the first guy on the show. Uh, shout outs to him. Uh, shout outs to him. That's, that's family right there. That's family. But um, I appreciate y'all. I always do. And I'm going to always tell y'all that it's all love. If y'all got anything that y'all want to share with me, anything y'all want to go over, anything that you want to see in a future episode, hit me up. Like the Facts Only page. 
Um, you know, you can send me messages on there. You can email me facts only F A C T S O N L Y Y Y the number one at gmail.com. So thanks y'all. Listen to good music. Let's pray for Kanye. <laughs> Let's pray for all of these musicians out here because I know it's stressful being in the industry and whatnot, but we can't be selling out. We got to stay strong and we got to know what's right. We got to do what's right. doesn't matter how much money they're giving you. Do not sell out. Don't sell your soul for riches and gold. Like God has so much better for you out there. So don't let them tempt you with that nonsense. Just don't. But I'm going to stop preaching. I should have said that a little bit earlier, but it's all right. Uh, we'll, we'll do that on the recap. Friday's episode. So be back here on Friday, 7.30. Facts only, y'all. One love, love always, no love lost. Stay blessed. Y'all be safe out there. Have a good night.